Dear Ryan, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Hey guys, so I don't know why this has always been such a popular Dear Ryan. I mean, it always has been. I get this one all the time. I mean, look how many likes this one comment has. I'm finally just gonna put this ridiculous question to an end once and for all. I'm gonna scientifically prove what came first, the chicken or the egg, using the power of math. And I'm not gonna lie, you're probably gonna need to know at least basic algebra to follow along. It's not algebra, it's like my version of Ryan's algebra. Algebra Ryan. You have to learn algebra Ryan, to understand this. So in order to answer the most famous question of all time, what came first, the chicken or the egg? We're gonna need to start with the most famous equation of all time, E equals MC squared. In school, they teach you that Einstein meant that E equals MC squared is energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Well, that's completely wrong in algebra Ryan. What it really means is egg equals matter times chicken, little floating number two. And in order to find out what came first, we have to figure out the matter at hand, which is M. We have to figure out what M equals, basically. We have to find out what M equals by getting M by itself. This is where basic algebra comes in. If you take the square root of both sides of the equation, the square root gets rid of the little floating number two, leaving you with the square root of E equals M times C. And now to get rid of C, you divide the chicken on both sides, leaving you with square root of E over C equals M. Now this may look even more confusing, but bear with me. The little floating number two and the C that we got rid of earlier will help you to understand. See, if we were to write this out, we're left with chicken, little floating number two. Notice anything familiar? Exactly, chicken little. From the nursery rhyme. Nursery rhymes were trying to tell us the whole time. Chicken little is the one who said the sky is falling, and falling is the opposite of floating. So if we take the opposite of chicken little floating we get egg big falling big egg falling what big egg is most famous for falling yet another nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty the same Humpty Dumpty that was on a wall and had a great fall get it on a wall great fall he was on the great wall the great wall of China which means Humpty Dumpty was Chinese in fact his name wasn't even Humpty Dumpty it was just who but they added the Humpty Dumpty to make it more pleasant for kids I guess but who was indeed a Chinese egg which means he came from a Chinese chicken which explains why chickens go bok 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 they're trying to say bok is in bok choy like a Chinese cabbage and since eggs are the opposite of a chicken in this equation, if the egg's name was who, the opposite of that is uh, and that was the name of the Chinese chicken, uh. Uh, the Chinese chicken gave us who, the Chinese egg. But as you know, as much as chickens do lay eggs, eggs do hatch chicken. So uh doesn't just give us who, who gives uh. Because chickens and eggs are one, but don't forget we still have the number two. One, two, 12. You see, if we go back to our original equation, square root of E over C is just 12. Because the square root of an egg, where eggs come from, is a chicken. And if you're left with a chicken over a chicken, that's two chickens that become one. One, two, 12. And we all know that in egg terms, that 12 eggs is a dozen. A dozen equals matter. So if you really want to know the truth and put an end to the most famous question of all time, all you need is basic algebra, and the answer is simple. It doesn't matter. Who gives a sh**? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the left. If you want to see the last Dear Ryan video, click the one on the right. And remember to leave a comment below if you want to see a Dear Ryan of your own.